G, Todd. Uh, GRJ is here with us. Reggie is here. RK and others. Again, uh, we're going to welcome Ron D and others. This is Online Trader Central. Your host and presenter today from the stockswitch.com is Melissa Armo. Start time in three minutes. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. The host and presenter today, Melissa Armo, presenting Make $1,000 Per Day Trading One Strategy. Trading One Strategy. So with that, let's begin. For okay, and here's the Okay, and Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today. The topic, Make $1,000 Per Day, Trading One Strategy from the Stocks. Thank you so much, Kevin and everyone with Online Trader Central. Welcome. Thanks for coming today. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And today I'm going to be talking about making $1,000 per day trading one strategy. And it's actually the only strategy that I trade. I'm a day trader. You can use this strategy for overnight trades, for swing trades and core trades. Your risk would be different. We're going to talk today about one overnight trade. But the main focus of today's lecture is going to be about doing day trading. And I call this chunking it out. Because if you're looking to make $1,000 a day as a day trader, you're really chunking it out of the market to make enough money to pay yourself for a living if that's why you want to trade. When I decided I wanted to trade the market, that was always the reason that I decided I wanted to trade. For, for some people, I'm sure they just want to make extra money on the side. But if you really want to trade the market for something as a full-time job, I'm telling you that it's possible. It's something that you can do using this one strategy. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can also go to my website at www.thestockswish.com and go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Skype, and even call me if you have any questions. During the live webinar, if you have questions as we go along, you can ask me and I'll see the questions in live time and I can answer them in live time as well. You can just write them there in the room. I'm going to start out here with telling you, and this is a quote by myself. I'm quoting myself here. Nothing is too good to be true. Anything you desire is possible. 
This is my theme for the month of March because this is truly what I believe. There is nothing that is too good to be true. In other words, is it too good to be true to make $1,000 a day trading? The answer is no. Anything you desire, if you desire and you really want to make $1,000 a day trading, you can. You can do it. I am living proof that nothing is too good to be true and anything you desire is possible. And for those of you that uh, have been following me for a while, you may already know this about me. And for those of you that have never met me and don't know anything about me, you will see this over time as you follow me. I am living proof that someone, one individual, can actually trade the market successfully. And not only that, that if you have dreams and goals and things you desire, that you can accomplish them. And I am motivating people to do that because a lot of it has to do with what you believe. It's about perception. And we're going to talk about that more later today as well. So if you've ever thought about day trading and don't know where to start and really need a reliable strategy, then that's the reason that you might be here. And you also might be here, as I said, because you're really looking for a new career. $1,000 a day, basically, and there's 20 trading days in a month, comes out to be roughly $20,000 a month. And that's roughly about two hundred forty grand a year, give or take holidays. That's enough that you could do this for a career. And if you're feeling like you're behind the eight ball in your life or in your trading, then you've got to stop and reevaluate and maybe change something that you're doing so you can get on the right track because it is never too late. It is never too late. If you feel stuck in your life or in your trading or in your career or wherever you are at this place in time right now today, March 2nd, I'm telling you it's never too late. It is never too late to change your life. It is never too late to change something in your training. All you have to do is get up like this guy here. He feels very cramped in this box, but if he just stood up, and looked above and outside and beyond himself, he'd realize that there's a whole world out here. And there's a whole market. And there's a whole other way for him to trade. And he just never thought about it. He never conceptually even thought that there was something that he could do in the market to make a thousand dollars a day. He never even thought he could actually trade the market without without going and working for some hedge fund. He didn't realize he could even do this from his home with a computer and internet connection. But the fact is you can, and you can do it with your own account. And the time is now. The time is 2015. It's now. The time is now to make the changes in your life. And actually, 2015 is going to be a very significant year in the market because it is going to run. It's going to run higher. It's continuing to run higher. And it's going to be a great year with a lot of volatility and momentum to trade the market. So if you think it sounds too good to be true that you can make $1,000 a day day trading, then stop and think again because it can be done. Billions of dollars run through the market daily. So earning $1,000 a day, if you break it down again, again, chunking it out as a day trader means you'd only be taking a small piece of what the market offers on a daily basis. Day trading is very profitable, and it is one of these things that as soon as you book the trade and you have the money and you're out of it, it's yours. It is a highly lucrative and expeditious manner to trade and profit. What do I mean? I mean it's fast. Like you take the trade today and you're out of it today and the money is yours today. Could you take the money out of your account the next day? If you have a retail account, yeah, you can. I've done that before. So if you have a prop account, may they may have certain restrictions because actually the trades aren't settled for approximately three to five days. But if you have a retail account, they'll let you take the money out that you make the next day. So where can you get paid like that? If you have a job that you go to, you don't you don't get paid like every day. You go to the job and you get paid once a week or bi-weekly or bi-monthly or once a month if you have a commission job. So the great thing about trading, and what I love about trading is that I can pay myself whenever I feel like it, every day if I want to. Now you don't have to do that, but I'm saying the very idea that you could is actually exciting because the money is there and it's fast and it's yours. So how do you do it? One strategy and one focus. And what I tell people when they come to me, I say you've got to focus, focus, focus. So many people are out there trying to learn snippets and tidbits of lots of different things. Then they wonder why they're not profitable, why they don't see the consistency, because they're all over the place, jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. You have to stay in a structure. My class is a structure. The way I train is very structured. And I am trading more structured now than ever, not just because I am trading live in front of people in the room every day, 
but also because the market is extremely bullish right now. And so I have to be structured with what I do. So how can you do it? Well, it takes more than hard work to get to this level of success as a day trader to earn $1,000 a day. It actually takes uh, ingenuity and a detailed plan of action to trade. Again, the plan of action is the focus. The number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis because it doesn't do you any good to rely on this as a job or a source of income or as a career. If you are having one month is great and the next month is terrible and then one week is awful and then the next month is great, you have to be consistent. And so this type of trading success and financial success in the market is by design. You've got to have a niche and this is what I do. I have a niche. And so I've been able to actually replicate outstanding results over and over because I have a niche and an edge in the market. And it's the strategy that I trade that I created. It's why I have an edge. It's one of the reasons why I've called the stock market long, uh, which it is higher. This is a chart of the SPY. This was from Friday. But it's one of the reasons that I've been able to call the market so well. So even today, even today I called the market long. And I looked at how we closed and the market was long today. I called the market long in the room today and we've been up 7,000 days and I called the market long and it worked. Intraday, in the room I called the market long today. I didn't go long the market today, but I called it and it worked. And one of the reasons I've called this market so well intraday and in the long term is because of my edge, which is the strategy I'm going to talk to you about. And I'm going to continue to reinforce here that this market is higher. So why is an edge important? Because it sets you apart from everyone else from the crowd. Most of the people that are trading in the market as individuals actually lose money. That's a fact. Does that mean that you can't do it? No. But it means if you follow the crowd, they're going to have the results of the crowd, which is that most people lose. Why do most people lose in the market? What is the reason for this? There is, why is the number of successful people in the market small in comparison to the number of people in the market that that actually are successful. Is it about they, these people that are successful work really, really, really hard and everyone else is lazy? No, not necessarily. Although there are some people that actually are lazy traders. But it really comes down to the fact that the people that do well understand the value of money and they understand their thoughts surrounding money. The value of it and their thoughts surrounding it. I have this saying, I have a lot of sayings, but this is one of them that I'm going to talk about today. It's, it's, this is me. This is a picture of me. It's align yourself with like-minded people. If you want to do well in the market, then you need to align yourself with people who are successful trading. If you align yourself with people that are not successful trading, then it is going to be challenging for you to make it. So you've got to listen to what I'm saying or anyone that you go and you hear a lecture or talk about whatever they do and I specifically day trade U.S. stocks in the stock market, I'm an equity trader. You have to align yourself with people that are like-minded. One of the reasons that I uh, have been able to call the market well is because I'm reading the money that's, that's in the market, that's, that's buying it. So my thought process is, my mindset is that I am a, a able to read money. I'm able to read control in stocks. I'm able to read when people are selling a stock and I'm able to read when people are buying a stock. Now we're going to talk about this because this is the strategy that I trade. I'm basically reading control in this strategy. But you have to align yourself with people you want to emulate. In other words, this is a picture of Manhattan. If you want to be successful, you have to find successful people and you have to replicate what they do. Otherwise, you go in on your own. Now, when I started out, I actually knew that I was a successful person because I was very successful in the mortgage industry. That's what I did before I started trading. So I knew I was a successful person. So I, and I didn't know any successful traders. I didn't have anyone to emulate. That was a tough, tough, tough road for me. It's easier for people that find me because they can emulate me, my trades, what I do, or my strategy, be in the live room and take my calls. But if you're out there on your own, just trying to learn it in the market, and you don't have anyone to follow a structure or a mentor, it's more challenging. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can. I did it. I did it by myself. 
but it's a longer road and it'll take you longer. And anything that you could do to shorten your uh, level of success to make it uh, that you can be more successful faster, you want to take that path. If you can get on a path that uh, shortens the time frame for you to get to the level of success that you want financially from point A to making $1,000 a day, you want to take that path because time is valuable. And the point I'm trying to make is that success is contagious. It, it, it plays off of itself. Just like when you get up in the morning, some days you have a bad day and you have a bad day and you seem like nothing is going right. And then all of a sudden one thing is one thing and one thing and all of a sudden you feel like the whole day is falling apart. It's the same way when things are going great. When I get up in the morning and I take a great trade or I go to the gym and I go take a cycling class and I feel pumped up and I go back and I hit it in the morning in the market and then I make money and then I do something else and something else and something else and then my whole day is fabulous and then all of a sudden I'm going to bed. Success is contagious. It's the same way with your positive energy when you're making things happen for yourself. And it plays off of itself. So if you align yourself with me, I'm a very successful person, not just in my trading, but in other areas of my life. It falls over and it has an effect on you. And so I'm telling you, think about this when you go and listen to people and when you're listening to hear me, me here today. And actually, this is just even if you have friends. Like if you have friends that you are traders and they are not doing well. Maybe you want to take a break from talking to them every once in a while because it actually can have a negative effect on you. I have a live trading room. The trading room comments are closed off. I'm the only one that can see the comments. And that was one of the best decisions I ever made. Some people don't like it because they want to talk to other traders. But you know what? It doesn't do them any good because I find that traders tend to talk negative to each other. The best thing that you can do is listen to me because I'm successful and just follow what I'm saying and do it. Because when you're talking to other traders and commiserating with other traders, it doesn't benefit you at all. I'm the one that's doing it. I'm the one that's successful. Follow me, make the money, and go on with your day. Talking, 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 going over things with other people that trade actually doesn't benefit you at all. This is an individual sport, so to say. It's like playing tennis, okay, unless you're playing doubles. You are doing it, and you're out there by yourself, and you're the only one pressing the button. When you get in and when you get out, it's up to you. So it is an independent activity. I'm a very independent person, but if you don't like that, then maybe you're not cut out to be a day trader. So I'm telling you right now, you kind of have to be an independent person. And I find the most successful people that come to me, the people that are making the most money that are in my room are actually extremely independent. And they're very confident people as well. Now, confidence is something you can build on. Obviously, you learn what I do and you gain the confidence over time. So how can you make a thousand dollars a day day trading? Number one, you focus on one strategy. It's what I trade. It's called golden gaps. We're going to go over what that is in a minute. Number two, you pick the best golden gap possible, which is the best stock pick each day. How? You use a rating system. It's a point system that I design. We're going to talk about that as well. Number three, you risk an amount of per trade if you want to make a thousand dollars a day. I'm telling you, risk has to be between four or five hundred. I'm giving you an average. Then you want to take an entry in the best qualified golden gap in a one-minute chart. We're going to discuss those trades today. And then lastly, and not least, you do not trade when there are no good gaps. I actually didn't trade today. I didn't take one trade today. It's Monday, March 2nd, the first day of the month, and I didn't like anything. There was one thing I watched. I'll tell you right now, I watched one stock out of the open, and I it, it actually got halted. It got halted before the open, so I never took it. Nothing else rated well. I didn't do anything else. I didn't trade today. There weren't any good gaps. There was one. It got halted before the open. Couldn't do it. Never set up. Didn't take it. Didn't even look at it. I said, don't even look at it. And we moved on. Because you should never trade something that's halted. Even if it opens later, it's not going to act right. So I didn't trade today. So this is part of the structure as well. <clears throat> and again, it's about being structured. We'll get to the strategy in a little bit, KW. You might be impatient, but the lecture is only an hour. So hopefully you can be a little patient. I'm leaning into it. I'm trying to explain it. I'm trying to get you in the proper mindset here. And Eric says, I'm beauty and brains. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about what is a gap. KW wants to know what's a strategy. The strategy is called the golden gap. Now, I'm going to look here at a long, even though I like to do shorts. Uh, this was a long. Okay, now I squish this here so you can see this really, really tight, the candlesticks. 
But the chart ticker symbol is ROST. The stock gapped. This was last week. The stock closed here the night before at one price and then gapped up and open the next day at a different price. So what is a gap? A gap is something that closes at one price, the US stock market closes at four o'clock, and then it opens at a different price at 9.30. You can do bullish gaps and you can do bearish gaps. This is a bullish gap, I'm showing you an example. So you can do bullish or bearish for gaps, okay? I prefer shorts though, I've gotta be honest with you. But I'm showing you can use this for bullish too, okay? Now, when I say golden gap, what do I mean? A golden gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. For example, Rost gapped up, you would have rated the gap, but it was a long. It is called a golden gap because institutional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. In the case of a, of a short, they're selling it or shorting it. In the case of a long, it's getting bought. A golden gap rates 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system. That's how I'm picking which stock to trade. How would you know how to trade Rost it's gapping. First, you find stocks that are gapping. Does every gap work? No. Not even in the direction of each gap. You have to rate the gap, okay? So in the case of a bullish golden gap, institutions are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock was higher in the day. How do you know if you can buy it? You have to rate it using the 26-point system. In the case of a bearish gap, institutions are selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock was lower in the day. Again, how do you know if you can short something that gaps down? You rein it per the 26-point system. But I do prefer bearish gaps. I prefer bearish gaps because gaps that gap down have two things happening them to create the gap, selling and shorting. Therefore, they have the double the potential for a move. What time is your chart? This chart here is a daily chart, R. I'm looking at different time frames today, but this one here in Rost is a daily. You can see a gap on any chart, a one minute chart, a five minute chart, a daily chart. You can see a gap on any chart. I'm just showing here this is a daily. We are, we will look at also one minute charts today though. Now, the philosophy, again, the full understanding who makes golden gaps. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That's what makes the gap in the first place. And this is what makes any gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. The confirmation is the rating system that tells you it's a good long or short. You're doing this before 930, before the market opens, in the pre-market market. You're not getting in the train pre-market. You are qualifying and picking it and rating it in the pre-market. Okay? Gaps are an event in a chart, and they create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Gap trading is so powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading inside of money. This is the number one reason why I've, I've accurately called the market in the last two and a half years. Longer than that, and why I'm continuing to call it so well is because I'm reading the gaps in the QQQ and the SPY ETFs. You can read gaps and qualify gaps in anything to gaps, whether it's an ETF or a company. I prefer companies but this is a personal preference. You can use the rating system for the market ETFs or any ETFs. Now, what do I mean by institutional money? I mean a lot of money. I mean billions of dollars, millions of dollars. That's why these stocks move. R is having trouble with audio. Kathy or Kevin, can you help him out? And can everyone else hear me before I continue? I, if I'm, if, oh, no one can hear me, please let me know. Can everyone hear me talking? Because I never stopped. Hello? Is anyone there? Okay. All right, thank you. We help R out then, Kathy. He's having a trouble, or she, I'm not sure. All right, let's talk about what do I mean by institutional money? Now, I said you could use this for swing trading or day trading. Here's, this is a swing trade call I made. This, is, this was a great call. Uh, this was Netflix. So Netflix on January 27th. I did this in a previous webinar, actually. And then I just looked at this the, the other day. Netflix here on January 27th was here. 
But the stock actually gapped up here. This was on the 21st. So, again, Netflix closed the night before here at 350, and then it gapped up. It gapped up here to 400-something, wherever it opened. 415, 413, wherever it opened. And you could have bought Netflix. Could you have bought it on the day you made any money? No. But it was a swing trade. It was a swing trade, and it was actually a good long. And the stock rallied then, and on January 27th, here's where it was. In one of the previous webinars, I talked about the fact that if you'd done the swing trade call I made, it was a long. On 122, I made the call on this day. The entry was 415. If you took it at the worst price, you could have taken it on the day. Like, you could have gotten a better price on that. Stop was 380. This is big, but I'm talking about an overnight. Risk was $35. Again, this is different than day trading, but I'm using this as an example to show you the power of institutional money and gaps and how you can use it for day trades, which we're going to talk about in a minute. The first target I had on Netflix in the swing trade letter was 435, 450, 465. If you only took 100 shares of Netflix and risked $3,500, again, this is an overnight. You would have currently already been up, this was on the 27th, this was six days after, no, it was three days, six calendar days, but three trading days after the gap up of taking the swing trade. If you stay in Netflix until it reaches $500, you could make $8,500. So within three days, you actually were up already $3,500. That's what you would have risked. Okay, let me just go back here. So if you took this trade here in the swing trade call and used my strategy to do an overnight, you would have made the money. It never, it never looked back. This is one, two, three, four. And here you are within three days of this. You were ready up the money you made in the trade that you could have taken it. You're ready up $3,500. These bars here are not accurate. Something was wrong on my platform these days. So ignore those. But here was the day of the gap. And here's the long trade I called in Netflix as a swing trade. And then here's the 27th. Okay. Now, where are we today? This was as of Friday. Today we were green in Netflix too. Here's the day I called the trade. Look where it is. It never looked back. This, this was a great call. I make a lot of calls like this, but this was a great call. 435 hit, 450 hit, 465 hit. Every target was hit. It's on its way. It was in $14 of the dream target, which was 500. If you Well, actually not the dream target, but the next target, which was 500. So you're up $7,100 if you did this trade. Some people in the room did do this trade. If you want the dream target, though, you can sign up for the swing trade letter. There is a dream target on Netflix. 500 is in the dream target. That was a realistic target. It's almost there. You're up $7,100. If you did this trade here, it has never looked back. This almost has gone completely vertical. Up. It's a long. But on the day here, if you would have looked at this and tried to short it or thought it was lower, you would have lost because this was not a short. Again, how do you know what to do with this thing here? You get up and you rate the gap. You see the gap, you find it, ooh, you find it, and then you have to rate it to determine what you should do with this. Is this going to continue falling or is it going to continue rallying? It fell on the live day and the day is a day trade, but it continued rallying in the overall. How do you know what it's going to do? You have to rate the gap. So that's how you know. Okay, let me answer some questions here. This, this was a great call. How many swing trades can you take, be up in them, be up in them, and up in them, and go straight up in them? Or straight down if it's, a, if it's a short. Not that many. I mean, again, the power of the gap. This is an event in this chart of Netflix. Uh, this will apply to futures as well. I don't train futures, Jimmy K, but I have had people ask me that. I have had people do the class that may be doing that. I'm not doing that. You would have to take the class and apply the information. You would have to just rate the gap. And you can do it with the market. So you would have to know how to do a futures trade because I'm not teaching you that. I would teach you the equity trade, but I wouldn't teach you the 26-point rating system, and I would teach you how to read a gap. And then you would take that information and apply it to take a futures trade. You'd have to know how to do the futures trade yourself. Okay. TNT has asked me a question about earnings announcements. There, that's one reason of a plethora of reasons why stocks gaps. In other words, a stock could gap for earnings. A stock could gap for downgrade. A stock could gap from news. LL got halted today and gapped down. Not got halted, but I watched the gap. LL was on 60 Minutes last night, and some big news came out of it, and something happened, and I didn't watch the 60 Minutes. But that stock gapped down from something from that and other things, too. So you, there's a million reasons why stocks gap. The market gaps every day, and the market doesn't actually have earnings. So, I mean, stuff gaps all the time for lots of things. You do get a lot of gaps in earnings season because sometimes stocks gap on earnings, but not all the time, but often. But there are many, many reasons for stock to gap. So it has nothing to do with whether it's earnings or a downgrade or news. 
somebody could be going bankrupt and then it gaps down and I rate the gap. So it's just one of many, many reasons to look for gaps, but that has nothing to do with anything as far as me liking it or not. It has to rate more than 20 points for the 26 point rating system or I don't want to do the gap. I don't even care if it's earnings. It could be an earnings gap, but if it doesn't rate well, I'm not doing it. But there's a million reasons for stocks to gap. Um, same thing Monty has asked me, your options applicable to your method, same concept. You would know, have to know how to do the option, but you'd rate the gap. Then you know what direction to take the option, whether long or short, Monty, and you would have to know how to do the option because I'm not going to teach you that. Would it make sense for every single gap? No. Some would not make sense when you would look at the option cost. But some would. And some actually would be cheaper than doing the equity trade, Madi. You'd have to look at each one individually. What scanners do you use to find these stocks? I don't have any scanner that I pay for. I just use my platform. It's free. Every platform has a scanner. Do you use a scap strategy to trade crude gold or something that trades almost 24 hours? No. It has to gap. If it's open in a 24-hour market, then there is no gap. The Forex market only has one gap because it only closes once a week. So if there's a 24-hour market, you don't have a gap. A gap means the close to the open. And that's why Forex only has one gap a week. You could use this for that, but it's only one a week. Do I ever feign gaps? No. If we have time, we'll talk about the end. Jimmy K, remind me. That's too long of a question to answer here. So what do I do? The Golden Gap 26 points rating system is how I determine what to do. That's how I know what to watch and what to trade. What does a 26 point rating system tell me? It measures gaps by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move in the day. Number three, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10. And number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. Now, many, 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 many people ask me, they want to see results. They want to see this. They want to see that. If you want to trial the live trading room, you can get a trial for a week. You can email me tonight and give you a trial. If you want to join the room, you can't join unless you do my class, which I'll talk about at the end. I am running my own business and trading full time. I only have a certain amount of time in the day, and I actually have a life because I live in an amazing city. It's called New York. So... I am giving you here a window into the last week of trading of every trade I called in the last week in the room. You want to see my results, which was the last week. You want to talk to anybody who's in the room, they'll verify everything I'm saying here. I called and did. And actually, I think I even tape the room every day, and it's on YouTube. I think I tape the room every day but Friday. But I'll go over Friday's trades here too. I think I tape the room every day the last week. So you can hear it live on YouTube, all right? Let's go over it. If you did the trades and we're in the room in the last week, how much money could you have made? Way more than $1,000 a trade, but the risk I'm going to use here is a little bit more than 500 But you could divvy it up in two, and you still would have had a great week. Now, what was the one on the 24th? February 24th. Stock closed up here the night before, gap down. Again, someone asked about the time frame. This is a one minute. Okay, so I need to know I like this before it even does anything, which I did, and I got up in the morning, I rated the gap, so it gapped down. I shorted this, this was a short. All the examples I'm going to show here, the Netflix was a long, don't get confused, Netflix is a long, it's an overnight, I'm going to go over shorts here now, these are day trades, this is what I do, I like to short. I prefer to short, I do go long sometimes, but I prefer to short. Anyways, when was a short? Boom, drop. And that's it. You actually could have done this trade very, very quickly. Price of the entry is 818. This is an advanced risk of $700. You don't take this if you're new, but if you know what to do, you can. Plenty of volume and win. Volume and actually the buying power you would have needed because this was a cheaper wasn't even that much. Exit, this isn't even the low of the day, but this is a target. Profit was $1,800, risk reward is 2.5. This is a good amount. This is more than $1,000. If you had risk 350, you would have made almost 1,900. If you would have risked between 4 and 500, you would have made over 1,000. And if it were $700, you would have made 1,800 bucks. Here it is. And you would have made $1,800 in this time frame. See that? 
MJ wants me to address the gap back in October. On which chart? I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Are you talking about Netflix? If you're talking about Netflix, I'll go back to that here at the end, too, and then talk about the gap fill question. I think we'll have time. T TNT, if you've never been to New York, you certainly should come. It's a fabulous place. Manhattan, specifically. Anyways, so this was a good trade. Okay, there it is. So this was on the 24th. All right, we'll go back to the Netflix MJ. Now, someone asked me this in a webinar the other week. Does every trade I take work? No, that's completely unrealistic. Otherwise, I'd never use stops, and I do use stops. I use hard stops. Why? Here's a good example. This is one trade from Friday. We are going to go over this trade. It didn't work. It was a gap down that didn't work. Not all gaps work. That gap down, JCP failed, and I did lose in this trade, and we're going to go over it. But this is why you need a system, because if you don't have a system, you might take a lot of things down and try to short them and not have a high odds of success. The reigning system is designed, this is the reason I made it up, it took me three years to do it, to find trades that have a high prob probability of success. Will all work? No, they won't. You have to account for the fact that some won't. But that's why you're looking for the highest odds ones, the highest rated ones. That's why you're looking for ones that have good targets with the highest rated potential for getting a good risk to reward in them. Risk to reward means you want to make two, three, four, five, six, not 50 cents, a half an hour, a little bit of a trade. You want to, you want to get, actually get paid. You know, I don't, I'm not a scalper. Okay. I'm a momentum trader. The momentum just comes in fast, like in, in, in this win. This is just fast, but this is the momentum in the stock here to the downside. I'm not a scalper where I'm going to take something like, I didn't take this here and get out here. So I'm looking to get pain into the drop. And this was a two and a half R trade. And it's because of the entry with the stop. But we're going to go over the JCP. So 225 was the day after the win was HBQ. Love this gap. And I really, really made the small, but this is a one minute chart here, as you can see. I entered the trade short. And this actually just took a little bit longer. So this was not a fast trade. It was actually took a little bit longer. Look, this is a one minute chart of this trade for the whole day in the one minute chart. But from the time you took it, it never went anywhere but down. You were in it as long as you could stand to be in it to the targets, but you were up every second you were in the trade from the entry. Price of the entry was 35.43, risk is 30 cents. An advanced risk on this is 1,050. So that means you can take 3,500. I took more risk in this because I really, really, really like the gap. Anyways, first exit in this is 34.77. Sometimes I piecemeal out, drop, break through the first target. Second exit, 34.61. This is not the low of the day. It actually went to 34.40, but you had to be in it in the afternoon. I tend to try to get out of my trades by the morning or lunch. Total profit, 25.90. Again, nice trade, two and a half risk units, two and a half hours. So now in two days, you could have made 1,800 and then you could have made 25.90. So... Again, this is an advanced risk. What if you risked half that? What if you risked 500 in this trade? You still could have made over $1,200. You still would have made over $1,000, risking 500 bucks. And it's still a two and a half hour trade. Same entry, same exit, same everything. Following me in the live room, learning my method, learning the gap rating system, knowing you even watch HPQ. How would you get it? How would you do it? It sets up very quickly. You got you to gotta know what you're watching, which I do every day. And I do all my work in the morning before 9.30. That's how I know. Now, this just happened to be the exact same day as HBQ. This thing fell off a planet, went to the dream target, right into the open. This is one of these ones that just fell off a planet. CHK, this is on 225 as well. Open, rally, you short in here, boom. This was lovely because you got more than a dollar. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Again, very quick. Took the trade in here at 9.30. You shorted it. You're out within 10 minutes. Price of the entry is eighteen forty. Your risk was twenty cents. Target seventeen eight at uh, seventeen sixty. Really, actually, this is a dream number here for this because it just fell out of the sky. If you risked seven hundred dollars, you would have made twenty eight hundred, and you would have been in this till that drop down because it actually just fell. Risk to reward in this is four times your risk made in profit. How do you know? It's a good gap. How would you know to watch this? You have to be watching this to get it. You have to know how to take it. You have to take my call. You have to know how to size yourself. But again, even if you didn't do an advanced risk in this, you still got almost a dollar out of this, no matter what you took in it. 
So even if you only took 1,000 shares in this, or 1,500, or half the 700 risk, it's still a great trade. So I'm using examples here that are advanced, but I'm saying even if you risk 350, 400, you could have made the money in this. You would have made half then. You still would have made 1,400 bucks. So then you would have made 1,400 bucks in this. Then you could have made the money in HPQ. The day before was when? It's only the 25th. This is last week. These are all great trades. Uh, this is a great trade. So then the next day, oh, actually, the date here is wrong. This was the 26th. Here, you can see it down here. I have the old date up here. This is the 26th. I didn't like any new gaps on the 26th. So I watched HBQ, which I liked the day before, because it didn't go to the dream target, and I knew the targets, and I like this still. So the next day, this is Thursday, I watched HBQ to short again. This was a great call because this actually really was not a new gap. I got to be honest with you. But I knew that it had the potential from the original gap. This is a one minute chart, which I did play the day before. I shorted this here. And look what this did. Again, this is a one minute chart for the whole day. This was a better risk to reward than the day of the original gap. And I'm not saying that that happens all the time, but every once in a blue moon it does. This is this was a really great call because I'm not even this I wouldn't advise to do these things without me calling them in the room because it's just me seeing that it's going to have the follow through of the what of the sell off which it had on the day of the gap but not all everyone follows through but this is the second day so I'm pointing that out but I did this because I didn't like any other new gap Price of the entry is $34.59, risk is $0.11, cents, and that's what makes this a really good trade. This ended up being a 7-hour trade. It was better than the original gap day trade because of the entry. Again, if you risk $7.15, exit was $33.80. This, again, is not the low of the day. Total profit, $51.35. This fell off very, 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 very late, and it actually went down in the 60s. But this is so late in the day, I don't like to be in trades really after 3 o'clock at all. And you see here that after 3 o'clock, the last hour, it really fell off a cliff here. But I, I think it's you really need to be out of your trades, uh, you know, by the afternoon. But this did keep going. It actually went down. You could have made another 20 cents on this. But this was a great call. This is a 7-hour trade here, even without, even with this exit here at 80. So that's Thursday, the 26th. That was just a great call. To even see that that was going to do it, and I had the number right, and I had to stop at the entry, and I knew if it went over the stop, it wasn't going to work, but it did, and I had 100% conviction, and again, it's because of the gap rating from the day of the gap, which was the 25th, so it was the 25th gap, but I saw the follow-through, that's how I read it, I read the control of the continuation of the follow-through, the sell-off that was going to come into it, which does not always happen, I'm telling you, but I knew the gap rating. And I, and, I, and I understood how it was acting on the day of the gap, and then I saw it into the open here on the 26th to take the trade. It may not have set up, but it did. I mean, you never even know. I, you don't know if it's going to set up or not until it actually the day opens. That's why I don't take them pre-market, because what if something happens and it doesn't set up right? And LL is a good example today because it never even opened. So if you were, if you were in LL pre-market, you were stuck in that through the hall. So I don't trade pre-market, and I don't trade post-market, but I do my work then, and I still have to wait for the setup. Because I could rate the gap and have everything perfect, and then it may never actually set up. I still have to have the setup. And that's the good thing. I'm looking for the institutional positioning of the gap on the day chart, but then I'm taking the entry in the one minute, but it still has to set up. And you have to learn the setups, which I teach in the class too. Now let's look at the one that was a dinker. This was JCP. This was Friday. It didn't work. So, JCP open, rallied, rallied, okay, shorted it. Actually, I was up. Uh, I was up in this, but again, you know, I just don't scalp. So, I didn't take anything out of this. Again, this is me. I'm looking for a move. I was up in this trade, though, when I took it. I didn't get out of it. And then it stopped me out. And it actually stopped me at a little bit above where I was, but you know, I was up in this before I got stopped out. You could have, you could have scalped this. I just didn't do it. I was looking for this to go and break and go and go to the target. It did not follow through. So if you took this trade, it was a 17 cent risk. Oh my gosh, I just remembered something I was going to say earlier today in the room. Hold on, let me just write it down. 
I just remembered I woke up in the middle of the night the other night after the JCP on Friday and I remembered something and I just remembered it. I'll talk about it in the room tomorrow for anybody that's here. I just remember what I woke up in the middle of the night on Friday and remembered about this. I just saw it. Okay, sorry, I had to write that down. Anyways, the point was this didn't work. And I got stopped out. And I actually got stopped out of this and lost even what I what I risked because it pooped me out of it. And sometimes it happens when you have a lot of size. Anyways, this was a loss, okay? Total profit was zero. It didn't work. You're still up for the week. You're still up for the week from the 24th, from the 25th, from the 26th. Today, the date of this is the 27th. It's Friday. You can see down here. And this was the one. WTW on the 27th opened and fell off a cliff and went just to a number that I didn't even have written down. And you wouldn't have even, you wouldn't have even been in this all the way to the bottom. But you would have gotten this. This was a gap that happened on Friday to the day of JCP. JCP failed. This one worked. You would have shorted this here and you would have gotten this and I mean, again, you're not you're 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 not trying to get everything to the low of the day. That's unrealistic. Sometimes I do have an exit that's near the low of the day, but that is not what I'm going for. I'm going for the perfect pick. I'm going for the perfect direction to take it, whether long or short. I need to know it, and I'm going for the perfect entry. And the perfect entry is what gets me the size. Twenty cent risk in this thirty five hundred shares. Risk is seven hundred dollars. Again, your risk should be same or equal to the same. Here's the first drop. You would it actually moved to dollar sixty past this. It was insane. Anyways, in this first move here with a 20 cent risk, you would have made $5,600 with a 700 risk. This is a great trade. Eight risk units. But I'll tell you, this is just as good as the HPQ over here. This was seven R's. It took you longer, but that's just as good as this thing here. Again, this ended up going, oops, this ended up going all the way down here. You can see I'm breaking $11. But you would, I mean, once this happens, you're up all that money, you're out. You, you just don't even worry about this. Okay, so let's go over it. So that was Friday. So room results last week. All trades including one stop. So there was a stop. With an advanced risk of 7 and 750, and you can divvy this up by two because say you are only going to risk 350, 300, 400. Total risk for the week though, here if you're looking at it, was 45.45. Total profit 17.925. One loser, five winners. That means a win ratio of 83%. Everyone wants me to track my trades. I don't do it. I don't have time. I don't... I don't even care enough to do it. The only reason I would do it is to sell classes. And I guess I figure I'm that good. I don't need to worry about doing that to sell classes because you can come and watch me trade and you can talk to people that did my class. Okay. But I am putting it in here if anybody wants to know. And I tape the room and it's on YouTube. Okay. So percentage win ratio is 83%. Risk to reward payout was 3.9. That's pretty darn good. And that is above average all around. Money, win ratio, percentage, risk to reward, the whole shebang, okay? And this is why I have a successful business. This is why I make money trading. This is why I live in Manhattan. And this is why people trade with me and are there. And people took the class and are still paying to be there to get my calls, okay? So you have to decide if this is something for you. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to train to do it for a career. But I'm telling you the money is there. This is way more than $1,000 a day. Now the risk is $700. And one of the trades was more than 1000 But I'm saying if you even divide it by half, you divide it by half, you still could have made $8,000 more than that from the week. That's in a week, okay? And there's five days in a week. That's more than $1,000 a day. That's with a loser too. This isn't trading a million things, though. I have one top watch or two top watches a day, and that is it. And I do call the market like I called the market long today, but I don't personally do it. I do like to look at shorts every once in a while, look at a long. I have called and done some longs this year, but I prefer the downside. But you don't even need to risk this amount to make money, to make $1,000. I'm just showing you here. No, this is exits. Not everything got to the target. Some things went past the target. TNT is asking about stuff. First of all, JCP failed, didn't go to the target, obviously. But you know what? This worked today. Huh. I looked at that before I started talking. I was like, you got to be kidding me, you stinker. Anyways, that didn't go to the target. This went past the target. HBQ actually went to the target. 
of the day of the second day did not on the first day. CHK went past the target. I know where these are. I teach you that in the class. I write in the room every morning. And when didn't go to the target? Some did, some didn't. Some went to dream target, some didn't go to the regular target. How do you know? I show you the targets. I teach it in the class. I also teach you exit signs. So you have to still get out of the trade, okay, if you are up and you see an exit sign. That is too long to discuss. I teach that in the class. I'm not going to be in a trade and be up X, Y, Z, see an exit sign and hold it through when it's reversing against me and I have an exit sign and I know the trade is done. Sometimes the trade is done and it's not going to the target and you have to get out. But then sometimes you get something like this and it falls off a planet and you didn't you don't even know it's going to fall off a planet when you take it, but it does. So it all evens out. It all evens out. You have to know how to trade. And if you know how to trade, take the entrance right and watch the right thing to trade, take in the right direction, you're going to make money. Some days you'll have a great exit. Some days you get out too soon. You know, I never get out too late, actually. I just don't do that. Uh, let me just see what else I was going to say here. What account size do you need to start per your trading method? I'm not going to tell you to take a certain amount of risk. That's on you. I have people in the trading room they are risking $50 a trade. If you can afford to risk 50, do it. If you can afford to risk 700, do it. You have to decide. This method has no set amount. You have to be able to open up an account and take a day trade. You have to be able to actively day trade. And you got to go to a broker that you can get shorts. How much money do you need? Hey, whatever you can risk, you can make money. Some money is better than losing. If you do well and you build up your account and you keep the money in there, you can maybe one day risk more and more and more and more and more and more. You can use my trading method to risk however much you want, small, little, and medium. It's up to you. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with what you can afford. And I can't decide that for you. And you have to be comfortable with it. Now, what trading account, what your trading account should look like, and this is actually my point, and this is not only what your account should look like, this is what your week should look like, this is what your month should look like, this is what your year should look like. Up, 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 up. Now, if you have a $400 risk unit in here, and you make three R's, it's 1,200 on the low end. Six in the middle end is 2,410 R's. None of those trades were 10 R's, but actually, if you held that WTW uh, all the way down, it was more than 10 R's. It was, that was a sick trade. Actually, HPQ, if you had stayed in it longer, which I didn't because I didn't want to stay in it past three, the second day in the HPQ, it was 10 R's. If you make $1,000 a day, you would average 20000 a month or approximately $240,000 a year. Okay, that is a nice, nice amount. Again, same amount here. If you want to risk $500 a risk unit, you're probably going to make a little bit more. Three risk units, $1,500 a day. So the golden gap system gives you a high percentage of success rate. I just used one week's examples, but it is high percentage success rate. Why? It goes back to the strategy. The number one reason why this is successful, why I make money in the market, is all because of the strategy. I am good at entries. I am good at seeing them. I'm good at the targets, I am good at all of that. But it's really the golden gap rating system that, that has made me good. And it's because I know what to watch that I get the entries. In other words, if there was a stinky trade, I would never get these great entries. I'm seeing it because I'm seeing it because I'm getting it in a good gap. You will only get entries like this in the gap. I would never trade in a one minute chart this aggressively or do anything like this in anything other than a good golden gap that rated 20 points or more. I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't work. The way that I trade, the way that I take the trades, the entries that I know how to do what I do, I could never do in anything else. It wouldn't work. This only works in golden gaps that rate high. That's why you get the move and the sell off or the buying. And I did plop a testimonial in here because JJ wrote this for me and just sent it to me. He said, Melissa's room is awesome. You wish you would have found it sooner. I forget how long he's been trading. So far, I took 14 profitable trades and only two losing trades. That's better, actually, than even the show ones I showed you last week. The losing trades were small losers. That's another thing because I use a stop. A good bit smaller than the average winner. Actually, in the very first few days in the row, I made enough money to cover the cost of the Golden Gap course. She's very focused on her methodology. That's what makes her good. She also cares about our members and wants them to thrive and do well. That was very nice. Thank you, JJ. He's in the room. He did the class last month. He was in the room, made the money for the class, and signed up. He was on a trial. I never asked him, actually, how long he's been trading, but I uh, have to do that. Anyways, uh, you know, that's actually a better uh, percentage than of what I just showed you in the last week. I guess he did 14. He must have done a lot of things. I, I call some things that I don't do. I, I truly, truly like to do one a day or two at the most. Like, I never do three things at the same time. But sometimes I do call uh, three things or four things. 
So the golden gap system puts the odds in your favor so you can win. You ultimately want to win. I teach a class. Again, JJ took it. This is a class I teach. You must take the class to be signed up to be in the room, but you could do the room in a trial this week before the class. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. It teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day and the targets. It teaches price analysis and technical analysis at an advanced level, which I'm very good at. I trust, I trust me when I say, even if you've been trading for 10, 15, 20 years, you will learn something new in my class. There's no one that doesn't take my class that doesn't learn something, even experienced people, because I'm so specific and advanced in what I do. The course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader. And I do my best to try to develop everyone that takes my class into good traders. It's really up to you how much you want to risk, how much money you want to make, but I think you need to determine that for yourself. If you want to speak to me about it individually, I can. You have to not be in fear when you take a trade so that you will focus on the trade itself and let it play out. Many of my trades from the entries go right away. But if they don't go the second you take it, you can't kill it. You have to let it move, let it go. The Golden Gap 26-point system really is how I'm doing it. And you've got to have an edge to make $1,000 a day consistently. What is my edge? What sets me apart from people? I have this 26-point rating system. It may sound like a really a lot of things to look at. But as far as I'm concerned, if I had a million, I'd look at a million. I'd get up in the morning at 5 a.m. if I had to look at 150 points. Anything I could do. I don't like to lose. In fact, I hate to lose. But you know what? When I get up every day, I'm actually thinking about winning. You know what was so frustrating for me about the JCP? And then, of course, it worked today, and I didn't do it. I didn't do anything today. But, you know, I did call in the room today, actually. Everybody that did in the room today made money shorting it. I didn't want to revenge trade it. But you know what's so funny? It's like... I want to win. When, when, I, when I take a loss, I'm really never upset about the loss because I only release one risk unit, even if I get pooped out of something. But I, I'm, like, upset that I didn't win. I'm, like, the only person that, like, I was up in the GCP I took on Friday. I was up. I was up money and I was actually up, and I didn't get out of it, and I got stopped out. I go in every day with 100% conviction that I want to make money. I do this to make money. I, I don't think about losing. I think about making, and I get upset when I don't make it. I don't get upset when I take a loss. If something doesn't work. It's not my fault. It's not my fault JCP didn't work, and you have to accept that. I get upset when I don't make it because I get up every day expecting myself to make it. Why? Because I am a successful person, and I get it right a lot, and I expect it to do it. And so, you know, you have to have something that can point you in the right direction on a high odds percentage of basis to do it. And that helps you gain the confidence. Like if you want to be like me, you want to be as confident as me, then you have to start making money. Making money involves a plan of action using a specific strategy to trade. And again, my theme for March is that you've got to learn a method to trade that makes it possible to make money in the market. You've got to learn how to do it and that everything and anything you desire is possible, not just in your trading, but in your life. And if you find that you're not doing things in your life that you want to do, like taking a vacation or a weekend off or buying something for yourself because you feel so strapped financially, then what you need to do is get a plan of action in place so you stop feeling strapped financially. Say, what can I do? I have to do something else to make more money. What? What is it? Or I have to do something else so I don't have to work so darn hard at my job in so many hours or so I can quit or retire early or whatever the case may be. You have to get a plan of action. Otherwise, you're out there just floundering. So I'm teaching people to trade. Empower yourself to trade. I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free online. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. It is March 7th and 8th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The class this weekend is a professional bearish gap system, the one that I do every day, which is the shorts. The cost of the class is $34.99. If you want to sign up, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You have to email me for sign-up papers. They're not on the website. The website uh, is going to have the papers on there. It just doesn't yet. I am doing a bullish golden gap class, though, in March as well, if you're interested in this, too. That's a great picture, too. A course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bullish gaps. This class has free retakes, too. Same cost, $34.99. This class is March 11th, 12th, and 13th. If you have a conflict during the weekend, this is on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, I also teach a class that is about long-term trends. It's called the Trends Course. This is more about taking overnight swing trading. This is the 24th and 25th from 12 to 4. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts long-term. This is 999. 
You don't need this if you're going to be a day trader, although it can make you a better day trader. This is more on how to read long-term trends and stock charts. And if you want to do either the March bullish class and the trends class or the March bearish class and the trends class, you can save $4.99 and do uh, the bullish gap class and the trends class or the bearish gap class and the trends class for $39.99. Special for this month. Now, let me just see everyone's questions here. And then again, if you have any, want to try out of the room, email me at melissatthestockswish.com. You can try out of the room for the week. Now, let me just look here. All right, there's a lot of questions. Let me just look up a few minutes, if Kevin just gives me a few minutes here. Uh, yes, MJ. MJ's asking me about real money. There are some people that actually just did the class. Actually, there's only one. There's only one guy in the room that's trading on a demo because he just did the class. I, I, you know, I think it's fine if you just did the class and want to practice on the demo. But I wouldn't suggest being on a demo with any length of time. I, I've traded live ever since the day I traded. That probably wasn't a good idea at the beginning because I didn't know how to trade and I lost my own money. But I will tell you that you never really know how to do it until you go live. Nothing is, not, I could never figure this out if I didn't trade real money. This, I wouldn't be as good. Nothing that I do would ever be as good as it is if I hadn't done it with real money. Unfortunately, I lost a lot until I figured this out and it was all real money. But, you know, that's how you figure stuff out on your own. But it is a long road if you go up by yourself. You have to be able to bankroll yourself. If you can't do that, you should never trade with live money. And you go take a class and learn like me. It's an easier road to take a class and learn like from me, even though you're paying a cost. But I'm telling you, $3,500 is a drop in the bucket. You can make it in one trade. You could make it in a week. You can make it in a month, even if you have a low risk. Okay. No one should be trading on a demo past 30 days. All right. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm doing this to make money. You need to do this to make money. you got to get past the point of being in fear. MJ, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I can't even acknowledge that question. Let's have some serious questions. Uh, Madi, what about the regs that you say you need a minimum account balance of 25000 to be a pattern day trader? If you want to open up a retail trading account in the United States of America, as an active day trader, to take trades actively, meaning in and out, in and out, in and out every day, their minimum requirement is $25,000. You could have a retail account with less than $25,000. You have to ask the broker. I forget exactly what the regs say. I think you can take three trades in five days or something. I don't know. I don't want to talk about regs here. I'm just giving you some pieces of information, but you really got to look at it yourself, and that means you have to call the broker because you can have a retail account with less than 25000 and take trades, but you can't be active, meaning in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay. Now, that being said, you could be a proprietary day trader, not have 25000 You have to talk to a proprietary day trading broker. You have to follow all the rules and regulations they give you. You're going to have to talk to them individually. There's a million places out there. Uh, okay, I'm just getting a lot of questions here. Where and how can we find the golden gaps? You find gaps anywhere, but rating the gaps, you learn how to rate the gaps in my class, Raghu. So gaps you can find anywhere, 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 anywhere. Almost everything gaps every day, up and down. You would learn the golden, what gaps are golden gaps, meaning what gaps have a high probability of working in my class, which is a 26-point rating system. Three and five days. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. And let me just see here. There's a lot of other questions here. Um, again, the account size has to do with where you want to trade, whether you want to trade at a retail active account, whether you want to trade in a proprietary day trading account, whether you want to trade an account where you're only taking the three and five days. You have to do what you can afford. Uh, people are asking questions, Ash, and we're running out of time here, and actually we're over, so I'm going to let everybody go. Thanks for letting me keep talking, Kevin. No, I, I, I don't think I got to everyone's questions. If you have any other specific questions, then just email me at melissatthestockswish.com. And if you're interested in a trial to the room, then you can email me too. And if anyone's interested in the class, you can email me as well. Thank you so much for being here, every day, everyone. My, my email is melissatthestockswish.com. Thanks for having me.
Hello, everyone. Again, thank you so much for your time and your participation here today. We do appreciate it.